A simple, classic, no-fuss meatloaf is one of America's favorite comfort foods. And smothered in a hickory ketchup, the Boston Market does a pretty darn good one. And I'm gonna teach you how you can recreate the Boston Market meatloaf right in your very own kitchen right now. But first, I wanna give a quick shout out to my viewer, Carolyn. This recipe happens to be a request video from Carolyn, so I hope you enjoy the recipe. And if you happen to have a restaurant or a recipe that you would like me to feature in an upcoming video, Go ahead and drop it in the comments section below. I promise I take a look at and respond to every single one of my requests. But make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when your video comes up, you'll be notified just like Carolyn. And I said that this was simple and no fuss and I meant it. All you need for this recipe is two pounds of 80-20 ground beef, ketchup, hickory barbecue sauce, breadcrumb, tomato sauce, tomato paste, two eggs, sweet onion, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, and that's it. And we need to get the sauce going so that it has time to cool down before we mix it into the ground beef, so let's get going. Over a medium heat, add one cup of Heinz tomato ketchup. Add a half of a cup of tomato sauce, a third of a cup of hickory flavored barbecue sauce, two tablespoons of tomato paste, one fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder, and one fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now simmer this mixture over a medium heat, stirring frequently for five minutes. Refrigerate this sauce uncovered until it is completely cooled throughout. It's important that this is completely cooled before we add it to the ground beef so that we don't prematurely raise the temperature of the ground beef before we put it in the oven. On a parchment lined cookie sheet, place one half of a cup of panko breadcrumbs and toast in the oven at 350 until lightly browned. Okay, preheat your oven to 375 degrees and get a very, very large mixing bowl. One that's large enough that you can get all of your ingredients for the meatloaf, but also get your hands in there so that you can really mix the meatloaf mixture really, really well. And now that the hickory ketchup has cooled, the first thing that you wanna do is to scoop out about a half of a cup because this is going to go on top of the meatloaf. So set this half of a cup aside. Start with two pounds of 80-20 ground beef one fourth of a cup of finely chopped sweet onion, your half a cup of breadcrumbs that have been toasted, two large eggs, one teaspoon of kosher salt, one half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, one fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder, and four to five cranks of cracked black pepper. And then add all the rest of the hickory barbecue ketchup. And now get your hands in there and really mix the meatloaf well. Now place the meatloaf mixture into a loaf pan and evenly distribute it throughout the pan. Now take the remaining half cup of your hickory tomato sauce and then just spread it evenly over the top of your meatloaf. And now bake your Boston Market meatloaf on a center rack, uncovered, at 375 degrees for about an hour or until an internal temperature of 160 degrees is reached. Once the meatloaf comes out of the oven, allow it to rest on the counter for about 10 to 15 minutes before you slice and serve it. This meatloaf is incredible. The hickory barbecue sauce that's all throughout the meatloaf and then of course glazed on top. It's like, it's tangy, sort of zesty. My favorite thing about meatloaf are the sandwiches. And this is gonna make an amazing meatloaf sandwich. Thank you so much for watching. And Carolyn, thank you again for your request. If you have a request, drop it in the comments section below. And until I see you all again, everybody, make it an awesome, awesome day. Cheers. I love y'all. And for more great comfort food recipes, check out right here.